If you are a Fujifilm X-H1 shooter, then you know the battery life on the Fujifilm X-H1 is horrendous. And I wanna share with you five tips to extend the battery life of the Fujifilm X-H1. I'm making this video because I got this comment right here. Thanks for the video. Got mine with a grip two weeks ago. One battery can shoot eight minutes at 4K 24P. Is that normal? Question mark. Another thing is when leaving the charger overnight, the battery is not 100%. It's like hitting 100% and gradually decreasing. What's wrong here? No, that is not normal. I can get about 30 to 45 minutes at 4K 24P shooting on one battery when I am not using the grip. When I'm using the grip with three batteries, I usually deplete about one to one and a half batteries in about 40 five minutes to an hour. I use only one Fujifilm native battery and two third party batteries. I'll be doing a test to confirm these numbers in a later video. This is just an estimate, so don't quote until I release that video. But generally I can shoot with about three batteries and not have to really worry about having to recharge. But let's get into the tips that I wanna share in this video. Number one, use Fuji native batteries. Get at least five of them. I found that when I use the only native Fuji battery I have, it lasts a little longer than the third party batteries, but they are pricey. So number two, have at least two native Fuji batteries and at least four third party batteries. Basically, you wanna have at least eight batteries if this is your daily driver. Number three, tether your camera to a power source. You can use a dummy battery or a DC cable that comes with the battery grip. When I'm shooting these videos, I use the camera with the battery grip and I plug it directly into the wall especially when I want to use boost mode. Number four, use boost mode sparingly. If you do not need the extended shooting limit or any of the other perks of boost mode, then just shoot in standard mode. I love using the grip for its minor boosts to the X-H1, but then I don't really use it, but I know it's there when I need it. And when I wanna shoot vertically, I. I Mostly just use it to shoot photos vertically. But number five, shoot intentionally. Think of shooting with the X-H1 as shooting with a manual lens. You know the limitations. The battery life is garbage. It's terrible and it cripples a great camera to the point it just might be an embarrassment to the Fujifilm camera lineup. But take it out, shoot proudly, knowing that it has its flaws, but it shines in important areas that it shoots great photo and video. Now, if none of this is working and you find that the batteries are draining quickly, then it may be the batteries you are using. It could be the camera. The batteries could just be discharging quickly. I recommend getting a new battery and testing out based on the batteries you already have. Some of the third party batteries aren't that great. I was recommended these batteries by a fellow X-H1 shooter and they are just as good as the Fuji native batteries. I have the link below. Do know that there is a difference in battery drainage when you shoot photography versus video. I can get through about five to seven photo shoots on two to three batteries max. Each shoot ranges from 15 to 45 minutes. I take between 150 to 500 shots per shoot. And if I have at least three batteries with me, then I know I'm good. If I'm shooting a video, it really depends on the shoot, but I know I need at least three to six batteries with me to get through a two hour shoot. With the Fujifilm X-H1, battery life is something that will constantly be in the forefront of your consciousness when you're using this camera. With that, the Fujifilm X-H1 has its quirks and understanding how to manage those quirks will improve your experience with this camera. If you are having a bad time with this camera, then I would consider looking into another camera body. If you wanna stick with Fuji, then something like the X-T4, X-T3, the ones with the bigger battery. I've not used those cameras, don't have any experience with how good or bad the battery life is, but I hear they're better than the X-H1. If you got any value out of this video, do hit the like button. I wanna thank you for subscribing and staying awesome. Stay awesome.